Hey friends, it's Brian. So I am going to do a review of an Akona travel bag for photography equipment for scuba diving. So I had a Pelican 1610 case um, and it's just, it's a little too big to travel and when I looked at the 1510, I thought it would do it, but I wanted something that was a little more um, compact. So here is this Akona less than seven pounds. That's actually the model number of it. So we're going to do an un unpackaging and I'm going to actually work on packing it because there's just not anything out there that goes over this. And um, some other divers had recommended this. It had pretty good reviews. I'm a little worried about the packaging. It looks like it's been been somewhere once. You know, maybe that's just Amazon. So we're going to go ahead and remove this. And, uh, you know, I, what I want to do is I want to carry on for my camera equipment because I just don't feel, I don't feel comfortable with my camera equipment um, out in the wild blue yonder. Um, so anyway, this is, if there's nothing in here except a couple of straps, so that's the downside is I'm going to have to go buy some packing foam and create something. So let me go get some camera and start packing this and see what we can get away with. So I've got a micro four thirds housing. I've got an eight inch dome. I've got a smaller dome uh, for one of my lenses. And then I have a macro port, a focus ring, which goes with this dome. I have a DS-125 that at some point I'll probably upgrade. I have the vacuum port, which is, this is just an awesome upgrade for Ike Lights housings. And then of course I have a charger and I'd like to see all of it in here. Let's see what we can do. And I'd like to not break my housing down, so I'm gonna start with the housing at the bottom, and, and that's a success. So, you know, again, I've gotta add some kind of padding around this because this isn't gonna fly by itself in that way. And, I, and so I'm gonna to have to go find some foam. I might have a little bit, so I'm gonna see if I do. So what do you know? I have some I have some padding. So I'm gonna start. And I just don't want my gear in here all willy-nilly, so I'm gonna makes me nervous putting a dome in here but it's you know this has got to happen so I think we're gonna put this in here because this this really does need to go this focus ring does go specifically with this uh, port so there's no reason it shouldn't ride in here but we'll put the the cover on it and that should do a pretty good job of protecting it. I mean it just shouldn't need a whole lot else as long as this is in here and I'm gentle with it. I really would like to see a dust cover for this but you know and and that's you know there's other issues in that this whole ring can pop out and in case you don't know this is $30 worth of plastic so yeah. And that needs to be in some kind of a bag as well. But again, we're just we're just trying to get a feel for how does this stuff fit in here. So we'll just set that in here. Set this in here. And set this. This can go back with the camera. Actually, this can go in here. This is a good spot for this. And then we've got a sink cable that can go in here, along with all of the Save-A-Dive gear. And let's go through this and see what we've got. So we've got a charge adapter. But we've got an external pocket here as well. 
So I think some of the save dive gear is going to go in here. And this is this is nice. It's padded, but that can go in there. So there's some lube. This is a uh, one of the O-rings. Uh, this is for the DS125, so that needs that. And then there's more lube, more lube and wrenches. Uh, these are the housing mounts. Honestly, that doesn't need to go on vacation with this. And then this is the mount for the house or the O-ring for the housing. It can go in there. And then we're going to break this stuff down. Now, I had an interesting conversation with one of the guys at Ikelite. I called to ask some questions about how to troubleshoot the, the, uh, I need to verify that my, uh, strobe is working properly. And he said, you know, these O-rings are good for several years. Um, so don't don't sweat and don't you don't change your o-ring every every trip um, uh, And he said especially with the vacuum system And then these Let's see if I can get these in here No, they ain't there I really wish they would go to a capped system like uh, Sony does for theirs. I still use some of the Sony lube that I had when I had a Sony housing or a Canon housing. Um, it was just a lot better. You know, I think we change this whole bag. Put it back. I just prefer to have all this stuff in one package. So that makes this nice and compact. It can go in here. And then um, that's good for this. Let's see, we've got another pocket on this side. I don't really know what we can put in here. And I say I don't know because it's honestly it's a pain in the butt to get this off, but that's something that doesn't really need to be in the center of the bag. The problem is this just doesn't want to come off. You'd have to unscrew it here, and that's a lot more work than I'm really up in the mood for. So we're just going to go ahead and lock this back down. And, you know, I want to add some more uh, foam in here, so let me see what I've got for foam. So that's looking pretty good. I think one of the solutions to assorted bits and pieces is to just put it in a Ziploc bag. And this this kind of protects it and keeps it out of, it keeps it all in one spot. And then that really needs to be in a padded bag. Let me go see what I've got. So I have a Canon lens bag. I have no idea where this came from. Um, but I think this is going to fit. Yeah, that'll work, and that'll, I mean, this is pretty sturdy to begin with, so that'll, that'll protect that, and then it can go, it can go up in this corner, and then um, we just got to figure out how to shield this, so we're going to do that, because that'll, that'll keep that kind of away, and then this can just stash in here to begin with, and what did we say that was trash? And then it's a DS125, which we'll need that later. And then this can go, and that can go in the trash. I'll be right back. So there you have it. We have it all packed nicely. 
and it's got wheels on it so you can roll it wherever you need it to go. And let's look at how it's packed on the inside. So I did compress it a little bit. So on the inside we've got this, the, uh, so we've got that, the macro port, the uh, wide angle um, zoom, the eight inch port, there's some quarter inch padding here. And again, this is a carry on, so it's not gonna get abused by gorillas. And then the main housing is back here where I feel like it's fairly safe. This, this covers over it and then the vacuum gauge is there and I've got a little bit of extra space. Let's see what it weighs. And this is way smaller than a Pelican, so I really like it. So I just happen to have a shipping sale scale. And so our total weight is under 20 pounds. So I'm really, really happy with that at under 20 pounds. Uh, oh, look, there's another pocket up here. So uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be for, but let's see if there's anything in here that looks like it should belong there. You know what? I think this space on the side. These can go up here. I think that's a perfect space for these. We'll just stuff those little rings in there. I don't really like having that in a small pocket by itself. Okay, there's another a couple little pockets here. So, yeah, this, which is just a, a different voltage adapter, uh, that's going to get trashed there. Plenty of storage opportunities here. This one's somewhat padded, but no, I don't really, that's not it either. So I guess it'll just live in there. And again, it's a, um, this is a, this is a carry-on bag. This is not something that I anticipate allowing the beasts to work with. So that's it. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, you know, I'll show you how I pack my camera gear in a second. I use a little pro bag for that. This is just the housing. So one other thing I did purchase was uh, some luggage straps so I can chain, chain my luggage. And um, these are, come from Amazon. So let's see if we can make sense of how these are supposed to work. I really think this is going to wind up needing two of these. So apparently that goes on my main luggage and then this straps to the first bag. And then, where does this strap? I feel like I'm missing something. Let me strap there. I guess this just loops up. Okay. So, um, that goes to the main luggage, so it's not going to get configured today. Uh, and I, I like to be in control of my luggage at all times when I travel, especially internationally. So this is my old low pro uh what is it i've had it for like 10 years um i don't know what the model is uh there it is made in china that's what the model is mm. anyway this is my old low pro camera bag from when i had a 5d mark ii and a 6d and a 7d uh so you know it's been around the block for a while I, it's a good camera bag um I've got a Surface Pro now, so that'll fit nicely in there. And then let's, uh... So here's the uh, keyboard and mouse for it that, you know, it, it, there could be better ways to fit this stuff in here. 
In fact, it might just go in like that. Okay, so it's a little unorthodox, but my camera is, is entirely too big to sit in this space. It's gonna bounce around. So I've actually put it in one of the side pockets and I'm only running a few lenses. I've got a 7 to 14 uh, rectilinear zoom. I have a, a 100 millimeter macro. And these lenses are tiny, but it takes fantastic pictures. And then I've got a 7 millimeter fisheye. Uh, that's a fun lens I'll have fun with for, for underwater. And then I've got a 14 to 42, which to me, this is kind of a blah lens. But I've got it, so it's here. And then the camera just fits nicely in one of these repurposed pockets. And I've got, you know, I've got a cap that can go up in here with the other little camera things. And, and um, you know, I still, I'm traveling really heavy for camera gear, but this is gonna work. So then I'll be able to get cables and stuff in here. And that leaves me space for uh, my CPAP machine in there. Cause I really wanna carry that with me on my person. And um, maybe any medications that I need like blood pressure Anyway, that's where we're at so far today, and uh, thanks for watching.